Hi everyone, is everybody okay? Um, I'm back again and today I'm going to be talking to you about face masks. Um, I'm having a bit of a bad day today. Uh, I've got frizzy hair. Um, I'm a bit bored actually of staying at home and I'm sure you all are as well. Um, but one of the rituals which I want you to really get into is the thing of doing a weekly face mask for yourselves. Now the one I use um, on myself and a lot of my clients in salon, I'm going to show you. And this is just because it's a little bit unique and I find this really, really therapeutic when you come to take it off as well. And this is the Crystal Clear 10 Minute Glow Mask here. It comes in two sizes. It comes in a smaller size if you want to try it and then you can actually upgrade once you like it to the bigger size if you want. Um, so this is actually the tube here. Now, I never used to get on with this face mask. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really used to, um, I just, I just couldn't get to grips with it setting or I used to put too much on. Um, and then I tried it again when I was away, um, on a course once. And I thought, right, I'm going to have a little pamper evening myself. And oh my God, I absolutely loved it. Um, it peels off like skin and you'll see when I come to do that, um, when I put the timer on, just how easy it is. So first of all, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to apply a little bit in my hand. Now, when it comes out, you can, hang on, I'll just get my hand. I'm still a novice at this, by the way, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm not used to this video in lark, especially on myself. I'm used to doing it on other people. So it's a gel consistency. Can you see that there? It comes out like a gooey kind of gel. Um, smells really nice as well, really nice and fresh and clean. Now, one of the things with this mask, you can see I've got pigmentation here quite bad. Um, a lot of that is caused by sun damage and um, age as well. I'm going through menopause as well, so that doesn't help either. So when you apply this, I actually apply it with my fingers and just ever so thinly. Now, the secret with this as well is make sure you do not put it onto wet skin. It must be dry. And that was one of the things which I was maybe going wrong with before. I was putting too much on and also I was applying it to damp skin, which you just do not do. So it won't actually set and dry when you do that. But this is really simple, easy product to use. It just goes on. Now, you can probably feel it going a little bit tingly. Um, and you kind of get a little bit of a, a vapour kind of um, thing coming off it, but that's just the product being really active. Um, by the way, you must get a tissue or something after this or go and wash your hands when you've done it because it will go all over. So I'm just doing it around here, just a nice thin layer. There's not really a, um, a right or wrong way to do this. You don't have to start in a certain area because it's just going to set as you come to set it. So just a little bit on your forehead here and round. Don't worry too much about this being 100% neat. It's just basically you want to use this on your problem areas or areas where you want this to work. So just all, always remember about your T-zone. If anyone suffers from oily skin or blocked pores or anything like that, this is an absolutely brilliant product to use. So I'm just gonna use it. This seems really weird me Looking at myself doing this, I'm really not used to this. I don't like it doing this on myself and showing you. Um, I'm used to doing this on other people. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit more kind of around here because this always seems to be a problem area. But still again, it's really thin application. Okay, and that literally is it. So what will start to happen is this product will start to become very active. You can see a few little bits there as it's drying already. Um, make sure you're not in a really hot room because if you do, all you're going to do is you're going to sweat. And also, if you sweat, don't forget that um, you're going to cause, obviously, your skin to have a little bit of water there as well, which you don't want. You want this to be completely dry. So what I would say is kind of walk around the house with this on, get your ironing done. Get your shark out. I've just invested in one of them. So thanks to whoever recommended me for that. Um, so face masks. Face masks are really used as a little treat or once a week thing. You shouldn't really be using a face mask every single day because obviously you don't need it every single day. So whatever you choose to use, just make sure it's right for the reason why you're using it. So this one is a really, really great one. The 10 minute glow one does give you a glow in 10 minutes. So what it actually does, this will help to dry out any impurities in the skin. Um, can you hear Effie there? She's barking at somebody. I think a cat's just gone past. Sorry about that. 
Um, so yeah, it draws out impurities in your skin and what it'll do, it'll help you with block pores. It'll, oh, here she is. She's having a nose. <laughs> You'll probably see her in a minute. She's looking for me. Um, it'll draw out the impurities in, in your skin. It'll give your skin a really, really great deep clean, um, which means obviously with the coronavirus going around at the minute, this is an absolutely fantastic product to use right now if we're all obviously looking at being scrupulously clean our skins. If you remember my previous video about touching your face all the time, so this is the mask um, I would really suggest and recommend right now if you want a really deep clean for your skin. So. I'm going to talk to you in a, in a little while. We're going to pause the video and I'm just going to um, put this on a timer for 10 minutes and I'm going to come back to you in a second when this is actually um, a little bit more set and dry. OK. Hi, everyone. So it's about 12 minutes. I've had this on now. I'm about out of breath. The Amazon man's just been to the door and I had to open the door and he left the parcel and um, he was obviously a bit shocked. I think my skin had peeled off. Anyway, here is the mask so i'm just going to remove it now so you can see it's just like skin oh my god this is so therapeutic oh this is brilliant so all you do you're literally peeling it off oh my nose is tickly it really tickles around your nose by the way makes your nose itchy can you see this so i'm just showing you how it kind of goes so easy to get off but you must leave this to dry properly don't feel if it feels a little bit tacky especially here it tends to take a little bit longer to dry on your cheek area don't take it off until it's absolutely ready um even if it's slightly longer than 10 minutes it's not going to do any damage by staying on any longer to be honest it'll just dry out a little bit so what i sometimes do is just use this area i've put a little bun in by the way because my hair was a bit frizzy again and oh my god this is so good peel it off there and then any little bits there and i'm needing my roots doing again don't know how we're going to cope with all this anyway so here's one i did earlier lupita here we come and this is just a wet clean mitt which i'm using oh it's so nice putting off there so just cleanse your face. You can either wash this off, you can give you, your skin a good wash, or you can use like a mitt to do this with as well. So that is my skin, nice and clean. Again, now you can see I'm a little bit red. Um, that's perfectly normal because the mask is by, called 10 Minute Glow. So it's going to give you a little glow, everybody. Um, and then to finish off, I am just going to apply a little bit of moisturiser. I'm actually using this um, Hydrocell one, which is brilliant after a treatment like this. It's thirst quenching for your skin because the mask is slightly hydrating anyway, so it will hydrate your skin as well as dry all the impurities. All of the Crystal Clear products, by the way, I just absolutely love the fact that they just do what they say. They really do what they, um, what they tell you on the tin kind of thing. So what I'm doing, I'm just patting in my moisturiser. I'm not doing this. I'm patting it in. I always find when you've had something like a treatment, um, either like exfoliation or a mat or anything, around the areas where you need the most hydration, pat it into your skin because the pores are open now. So what you're doing is, um, especially on like areas like here, your forehead, where you tend to go a little bit dry, um, by pushing the product into your skin, it's going to lay a little bit further into the skin so there we go 10 minute glow get yourselves um some sorted ladies direct message me if you actually i've just realized that's not the 10 minute glow actually that's the hydrocell um but the 10 minute glow is um like i said that's what we've used today for the face mask um other things as well what you can do at home if you have ingredients at home you can actually do a home mask I wouldn't recommend that you do maybe like a peel off one. It is a bit faffy, to be honest. Um, you probably don't, don't want to go to all that extent of doing that. But something um, like using coconut oil, honey, oats um, is a really, really good one to do. So you can actually 
um, put an egg yolk in there as well if you wanted to just to make a really um, revitalizing mask that's a, a really good one but just have a little google have a little google at them if you're not going to use a professional one um, do a few homemade ones just make sure that you're not putting any ingredients in there which is going to damage your skin nothing harsh remember my motto less is more and I'll see you soon for some more of these hope you enjoyed it bye